Howdy! Thanks for watching my vlog. Um, I'm only doing it really so that I can see how far we've come. Um, I watched a vlog recently where someone else had a young horse and they had that sort of like honeymoon period where you absolutely love it um, and then you're you get to that stage where you're kind of like oh my god what am I doing why did I do it um so that's basically why I'm doing it um I know it'll come good in the end I've had young horses before and I know this is the norm um but yeah anyway <laughs> that's why I'm doing it I'm doing it for my own records if you want to watch then fab um let me know if you like it uh all up for constructive criticism not interested in any of the bitchiness to be honest very lucky I'm not at a yard because I know yards can be very bitchy so um if that's you then just just go away now thanks um anyway so I'm starting off with a bang I guess um my pony is Nico he's a Welsh section D cult <sighs> very much a cult at the moment um anyway uh he's not even a year yet he's 11 months old and we are prepping for his first show on Sunday genuinely not feeling good about it um but anyway it's really really close and it's actually a well show so it seems like a good opportunity um and to be honest I he he is prepared like we've been doing some groundwork and stuff but he's just a bit of a bit of a lad anyway he's got that typical Welsh section D um rep I guess um so he is a bit of a I should probably shouldn't swear on here but I swear so much I don't really know what, to, what else to say he's a bit of a twat at times to be honest um so I'm expecting him to be pretty bad on Sunday but just really ticking a box it's so close it's a Welsh show um so it just seems like a good opportunity um I'm not looking forward to it and normally I'm pretty chilled about showing like I know what I'm doing with it <sighs> yeah it just it doesn't like I don't get nervous about it like I do with jumping and stuff like that um but anyway we'll see how it goes follow on with our little vlog um I'm actually doing this on Friday so a couple of days before we've already done two pre-washes because he's Palomino with four white stockings and a white face. Yeah, I should have learnt really. I've already got a grey. Should have learnt that I should have got a, a, a dark coloured. Stupid. Um, anyway, two pre-washes in. Um, we have put the halter on and we've been doing groundwork for weeks. Well, months actually. I've had him since December. Um, so yes, follow our little journey and our little vlog and see how we get on and um, if I survive it and don't get any injuries anyway thanks for watching um if you do like it please let me know it would be nice as if people appreciate these um but as i say i'll probably keep doing them just for my own records and if anyone wants to follow along for the journey then great also if you have got any as i say constructive tips then um do let me know because i've done a lot of showing and i have had a welsh for before um but to be honest it's been a while so if you know about welsh's and showing and stuff it'd be cool to learn learn a bit more um i shall add actually he's not i'm not he's not in it for the welsh showing like it'd be nice to do welsh showing but actually the main goal is going to be working hunter classes and stuff like that um and maybe some show jumping and cross country with him we'll see how he gets on and how bold he is and stuff like that but obviously it's really early days um anyway thanks for watching Open. Put it in the same place, that'd be helpful. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing a uh, testicle check as you do. Monkey. 
last trot up here super happy with that he was so well behaved and he was trotting quite nicely so yeah would be overjoyed with that
So it is the night before the show. Um, I think there's four in my class now. Literally checking it like every minute. Um, anyway, we have had a good wash tonight. So we gave him a wash with the Supreme Products Palomino Shampoo. Um, and actually he was very, very good. Really pleased with him, much better than he normally is. So hopefully that Palomino Shampoo, he was looking gleaming when I left, but I have left him out, so. I suspect I'll get grass stains on him, um, but he's definitely going to stay cleaner out than in because he always lays down when he's in the stable. Um, so definitely rather have grass stains than shit stains. Sorry, probably shouldn't swear. Um, so yeah, we use the Supreme Products Palomino Shampoo and also the Smart Grooming Purple Shampoo for his white leggies. Um, again, not sure how clean they'll be, but tomorrow, as I said, is a tick box exercise we've made the effort to try and keep him clean but really the main thing is that it's just a nice chill day for him and a bit you know just like a bit of fun I don't want him to get stressed or anything like that um he was really good putting his show halter on this evening and actually when I did a little bit of groundwork in the field walking him up standing him up trotting up he was actually really really good so if he is as good as he was today tomorrow then I will be absolutely overjoyed um definitely feeling a bit more positive about it today um so yeah just hopefully gonna chill out for the rest of the night we're just getting fish and chips from the local chippy at cubert um not sure that's a good idea because my tweed jacket's pretty tight um but i'm sure it'll be fine anyway updates tomorrow uh, maybe before if you're lucky but probably not so maybe after um wish us luck morning uh, just doing a vlog close, I guess. Um, uh, fortunately no footage because it didn't go too well. Um, anyway, Sunday morning we were looking, well, we weren't. Nico was looking amazing. Um, stockings all nice and white, thanks to the Smart Grooming Purple Shampoo. Um, and he was looking nice and, like, golden and, like, just really, like, nice and rich because of the, um... Supreme Products Palomino Shampoo. Um, so he was looking really, really nice. was really pleased with how he was looking. Um, we went to load him and he walked up like a little gent. It was really good. Um, put the partition across um, and then it kind of went a bit wrong. So <laughs> I have been doing loads of loading work with him. But when he was younger, he travelled loose because he wasn't... We literally got him out of a field, so he wasn't used to being tied up or anything. So we travelled him loose. Um, and he was absolutely fine, but he always turned around to face forwards. Um, so he's used to being tied up now. He gets tied up all the time in the yard. Um, yeah, when we put him in the lorry, he wanted to turn around and face forward. But obviously he was tied up. He's too big now, really, to travel loose. Um, he's about 13, 3 now. Um, so yeah, he was just getting his in a bit of a tizzy, really. So he ended up rearing basically and getting his legs over the um front breast bar bit so that was terrifying I started bawling my eyes out luckily I said to him stop and he it was really really good he didn't panic he just sort of did stop so it's good job he knows that command um so he got the uh partition the side partition out um and I don't really know how it happened because when that sort of thing happens it's all really fast isn't it so um but luckily he got out we didn't have to, I don't know what happens when that happens. Do you have to call it the fire brigade or anything? I don't know. But um, we didn't have to find out because luckily he managed to get out. I guess he must have like jumped out. Um, so he was completely unscathed. So really, really lucky. No damage to him or the lower lorry or anyone. Um, but obviously after that, wasn't keen to take him. So we called it a day. I like walked him around a bit. He was actually quite calm to be fair I think he was just confused that he couldn't turn around um so yeah that was a bit of a bummer because obviously he was looking really really nice but yeah it just wasn't worth the risk so yeah till next time we are actually getting a trailer now so because Nico quite obviously doesn't like to travel rearward facing um and the few times that he did travel loose he always turned around to face forward um, so he obviously prefers forward facing um, and actually Ellie, my other horse, she seems to prefer travelling forward as well. So I think there's some sort of statistic that like two out of three horses like to travel rearwards and one out of three wants to go forwards. Well, 
I've got three horses, well, two horses, one pony, um, and two out of three want to travel forwards. So <laughs> that's messing up the statistics a little bit. But anyway, we are getting a trailer. So we've put a deposit down for the Equitrek Apollo, uh, which is a brand new trailer that Equitrek are launching. Um, so I think it's market leading. It's got uh, unloading, I think it's 850 kilograms. We're going to go for the bigger option, which gives a total weight of 2,600 kilograms. Um, so hopefully that will be really useful because at the moment with a horse lorry, Ellie will travel okay in it. Like she doesn't love it, but she'll go in it and she will travel. But I don't have the payload to be able to put Nico in with her as well. So having the trailer will be really beneficial because Ellie travels well in a trailer. So hopefully we can then travel them together and he'll kind of learn to not rear up. Um, but I am hoping that if he's forward facing, then that won't happen. Um, so yeah, we're getting one of those, picking up the new car on um, Sunday, because at the moment we're sharing a car, which is a bit of a nightmare. So the lorry's for sale, we're getting a new car on Sunday, so then we've got two cars, um, and we're picking up the trailer. Well, actually, I don't know when we're picking up the trailer, it's ready in May. So really excited about that. Um, there's definitely one there, hopefully the other one's there. I can't feel it, we'll see it, but the vets are telling me that it might still be there anyway. Um, so hopefully that'll be happening soon. Um, I did want to take him to Royal Cornwall show. But I don't know if the timing's right. And also, he's only had two of his equine influenzas. Because of when I got him, and as I say, I got him out of the field, so he hadn't really had anything done. Um, so he's only had time to have two. And the third one would literally fall on the show date. So I've asked for clarification, because the rules around equine influenza on their rule book are not overly clear. But they haven't got back to me yet. So the closing date is literally tomorrow. So if they don't get back to me by then, I won't be entering. Um, but anyway, I will probably do some more vlogs about him just so that we can track our progress really and see how he's going on. Um, but also Ellie is coming back into work. She had about six weeks off because she was lame. Little old age, little old age pensioner. Um, but she's back in work now and seems to be going quite nicely. So hopefully we will be doing a couple of like low level events before we get out to doing sort of more intense stuff. I say more intense. We only do like local riding sort of stuff. Um, but anyway... That's kind of the future at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this vlog um, and my rambling on. I realise this is now almost six minutes. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed, then I don't know, I think you're supposed to say like, like, follow and zip subscribe. I'm not very good at YouTube, so I don't really know. Um, <laughs> Um, and if you've got any constructive comments um, or if you loved anything, then please let me know. If you hated it, I don't really want to know. So just don't bother subscribing or liking or following. Yeah, you can tell I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, thanks. Over and out and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.